Hey, y'all. I think I am live in the group. Let me just check to make sure. Um, but while I'm checking, I just wanted to come on here and let you know that I want to talk to you really briefly about, um, about the connection between healing and happiness. Um, so in case you're wondering, why is Andrea alive? What is she doing? I want to talk to you about healing and I want to talk to you about the connection to happiness because I think that um, there's this huge disconnect and a lot of people don't um, don't get it and that's why a lot of people aren't happy and it's also why I stopped talking about happiness. So I see myself, let me check the volume. Okay, so I got volume. If you are out there and you are watching me, please say, hey, I would love to hear from you. I would love to know um, how you're doing um, because when I go live, I actually like to, to talk with people instead of talking at people. Um, and so it looks like Facebook got their behind the scenes stuff all together. So I can see when you make comments. So if you're out there and if anything that I'm saying actually resonates with you, please don't hesitate to say something. Or even if you're watching the replay of this, um, leave it in the comments and I promise you, I will respond, uh, in the comments. So here's what I want to, uh, say to you about healing and, and happiness. First of all, happiness is not um it's not a goal it's not something that you can um it's not a goal that you can set and actually work towards the accomplishment of that goal happiness is actually a byproduct of being a healed person or a byproduct of being on the journey of self-discovery and healing while discovering yourself. And so what I mean by that is, you know, when we think about happiness and I know, you know, a lot of people have their own definitions of what happiness is. Some people say, oh, I don't care about happiness. I'd rather focus on joy and, you know, happiness is, is externally focused and joy is internally focused. Like, However you want to look at it, I promise you, you can look at it that way. If after I explain to you, uh, have this conversation with you and you decide, well, Andrea, what you're describing to me sounds like joy, then call it joy. I have made it my life's mission, at least in the last few years, not to get caught up on words because what I've realized is that words have no meaning except for the meaning we give them. You know, when we think about, um, what's right, you know, the definition of right. What's right for me could be so totally wrong for you. So it's even hard when it comes to even right and wrong. And, and I don't wanna say, oh, there's no right and there's no wrong. That's not what I'm saying because from an integral standpoint and from, from a moral standpoint, all of us have our own compass as to what is deemed right. You know, if you have someone who, um, who grew up in the house with the father who sold drugs and his father sold drugs and his grandfather sold drugs, then the likelihood of this person valuing the drug game life is going to be very high. And for him, because that's all he knows or she, because it's all they know, then that's going to feel right for them. And so when we look at or consider, you know, the meaning of words, we have to consider the source and also our own particular frame of reference. So back to happiness and healing. The reason why a lot of people don't have happiness is because they aren't healed. And the reason why a lot of people are not healed is because they have not taken the time to discover themselves. And if you saw the video yesterday with uh, Sadie, we did, we did a, a live coaching session on um, finding herself. And, and we, we came to the conclusion together as I talked to her and asked her questions that she isn't lost, right? So there's nothing to find. And she realized that she has always been there. She just chose not to 
listen. So the reason why a lot of people don't have happiness is because they haven't healed. And the reason why a lot of people haven't healed is because they haven't taken the time to truly discover who they are. And part of discovering who you are is getting intimate with your own personal story, but not only getting intimate with your own personal story, but actually learning how to empower yourself while learning about your story and removing all guilt and all shame and all of those low vibrating emotions or the emotions that we attach to our past and to our own shameful stories, right? And so I just want to encourage you um, and just tell you that if you want to be happy, then the only way for you to be happy or even experience joy, if you will, the only way to do that is to go back to the basics. And for you in your life, you are the basics. And so you have to take the time to get to know your story. And when you get to know your story, you're discovering yourself. And as you discover yourself, you will begin to heal certain parts of you. And in the process of healing those parts of you, you will discover happiness and you will find that you are truly in this state of bliss, if you will. And so that's the reason why I stopped uh, talking about bliss and I stopped uh, teaching my 90 days to find your bliss program because I fundamentally believe that in order to be happy, you have to heal. And it's not that I'm not saying that you have to be completely healed. What I'm saying is you at least have to be on the road or on the journey to healing. You know, as I was getting, um, showering this morning, I was standing in my shower and I literally out of nowhere burst it out singing a song that I made up. And I was like really loud. And I was like, oh, I am in love with my life. And I was extremely happy. And I was like, oh my gosh, I really am happy with my life right now. And the only reason that I am 100% happy with my life right now is because I am 100% healed. Now that doesn't mean that, you know, in five years, I won't be triggered by something. And, and at the moment of being triggered, then what I'll do is I'll stop, take a minute, figure out what it is, go within myself to figure out what it is that I need to heal. And I'll do that. And I'll get back to being a completely healed person. But right now where I am in my life, I am 100% healed and with this healing brings happiness and it brings all sorts of things, right? So again, if you find that you are not happy right now for whatever reason, I mean, I, 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 I don't know, there, there could be a number of reasons, then I wanna challenge you to begin your healing journey. And the way that you can begin your healing journey is by getting on the, the road of self-discovery and while on that road of self-discovery become intimate and familiar with your own story because the power of your story is that it's yours and no one can take away any of your experiences all right so that's all i wanted to share with you i wanted to do that in under 10 minutes which i did facebook is telling me is nine minutes right now um so if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments. I'm here for y'all. So let me know how I can support you. Remember every Wednesday we go live with uh, free coaching in this group. You can be a past client, a never client, a current client, like whatever, it doesn't matter. The only stipulation, the only prerequisite is that you complete the form. Once you do that, we will put you in the rotation so that you can be coached, all right? I will talk to y'all later. I'm going to go eat some chili that I made for dinner. And um, yeah, that's that. But if you want to be happy, you got to focus on your healing. If you want to be healed, you got to focus on your journey of self-discovery. If you want to focus on your self-discovery, then that requires becoming intimate 
with your own story. All right, y'all. One love.